Hello everybody. So I've been hearing a lot about this flat earth theory and I have some friends who are convinced that the earth is in fact flat and not round. So I decided to do a little research for myself to determine is the earth in fact flat or is it really round? And so here's what I've come up with. First of all, there's a interesting meme that I found which shows a flight from Sydney, Australia to uh, somewhere looks like a little south of Santiago de Chile and has an interesting flight path. So Starts in Sydney, goes to the northeast over Los Angeles, more or less, over the United States, and then down south into Chile. And that definitely looks a little strange on a globe map. On the flat earth map, it looks uh, perfectly logical. You can see it's pretty much you know, more or less a straight line. goes over the North Pole almost, over the United States, and down into Santiago de Chile. So... Um, and first glance, that looks a little that looks a little funny. So um, I, I pulled up another another flat Earth map here. It's basically the same map, just rotated a little bit. And I added in the airports. Now I couldn't find a direct flight from Sydney, Australia, to Santiago de Chile, but I did find a direct flight from um, from Auckland, New Zealand, to Santiago de Chile on Google Flights. And this is what I found: is that there's a direct flight. Here, Auckland, New Zealand, to Santiago de Chile, 11 hours and 5 minutes. So, if we look at that on the map, on our, our flat Earth, so we can see a direct line from Auckland, New Zealand. It goes right past LAX and ends in Santiago, 11 hours and 5 minutes. Now, if we look at a flight from Auckland, New Zealand to LAX, we find something very interesting here. So, the, this flight... Is also a direct flight, and as you can see here, it's 12 hours and 10 minutes. And so, if we plot that on a map, then this makes no sense at all on a flat Earth, right? So, this is 11 hours and 5 minutes from Auckland, New Zealand to Santiago de Chile, and 12 hours and 10 minutes, an extra hour for going about more or less half the distance. So, obviously, something's a little funny there. And then, if we look at the flight from Los Angeles to Santiago, I couldn't find a direct flight, but I found one with a layover in Lima, which is pretty much directly on the way, whether you're looking at a globe or a flat earth, by the way. And putting them together, it's about 12 and a half hours, counting for takeoff and landing and all that. I figure it's about probably 11 hour direct flight from Los Angeles to Santiago. And so if you plot that on a map, taking the path that our original meme told us we'd be taking. We'd go from Auckland, New Zealand over LA for 12 hours and then back down south to Santiago de Chile for another 11 hours or 23 hours of total flying time. That would have taken us just 11 hours if we didn't go by LA, but we pretty much did go straight by LA on the, on the, on the flat map. So that obviously doesn't make any sense, but I did actually find one way, one way that that could actually be true and that's if the pilots are actually taking a flight pattern that looks something like this and um, so that would explain the difference um, in 11 hours to Santiago versus 12 hours to LAX but then of course to get from LAX to Santiago de Chile we'd have to do something like this as well so um, I think if uh, I think if the airlines are doing something like this we can maybe have a talk with them and show them a way they can save probably hundreds of millions of dollars a year in fuel burn by just flying in a straight line instead of flying all over God's flat earth. So that's pretty much my analysis. Um, I think based on this, I, we can pretty much rule out the flat earth theory, uh, certainly based on our, um, our, our original meme that we have here, which again, you know, if the if the Earth really is flat, it does make sense that you'd fly directly from from uh, Sydney, Australia, to Santiago de Chile, more more or less in a straight line. Again, I used Auckland, New Zealand, because that's where I found the flight. But it's pretty much the same thing: Auckland, New Zealand, Sydney, Australia. Makes no difference really for the purposes of this discussion. Anyway, that's all I have now. I'm maybe going to make another video if I get around to it to show, uh, to dispel another common fallacy that, that shows the sun rays coming through a cloud at different angles and shows because of the angles that they're coming at, the sun must be a lot closer to the earth than we really think it is. But that would put the sun so close to the earth that uh, airlines would actually impact directly into the sun if they didn't dodge around it. So 
that's also a little ridiculous. Anyway, that's all I have for now, and I hope you enjoyed my little um, my little analysis here. I'd be interested to hear your comments. Bye.